I'm delighted to be joined now here in McLean's TV with a man who's been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, done everything in Gaelic games, captain of the Irish International Rules team, All-Ireland winner, the legend known as Steve McDonald. Steve, it's great to have you here and uh, the sport's in decent enough shape despite what some of the critics say. Oh, it is, absolutely. And it's great to be here, Logie. Uh, first of all, um, Gaelic games at the minute are in a fantastic position. You know, you look at the fitness of teams, the strength of the players and, and the, their ability to get up and down the pitch and, and kick and kick scores the way they are. You know, I don't buy into this uh, hype that you know the game was better 10, 15 years ago because uh, the game is improving year on year, year on year at the minute, and it's getting stronger and stronger. I'm going to come back and talk to you and talk a bit more about that. But what I want to talk to you about is the immediacy of uh, the qualifiers. Uh, yeah. Mark McHugh this week said that the the game's in bad shape, that none of the qualifiers are worth talking ab uh, about. But uh, maybe some of the players who are playing this weekend might disagree with that because there's still some tasty fixtures in there, I think. There's some very good fixtures, so there is. And, you know, some of the players really see this as their second chance. You know, they don't want to be um, training for the last nine, ten months of the year and, you know, going out after the first round. And this is a real opportunity for them players to, to really set the mark on, on the championship season. And, you know, when you look at some of the fixtures, RMA against Wicklow, very tasty um, match indeed. You know, two years ago, uh, we played Wicklow in the athletic grounds and... Uh, it was 8 or 9 nil up uh, until we actually got our finger out and uh, clawed our way back into the match. So that's going to be a, an interesting match. And you know, Would you be worried about Armagh against Wicklow? I would be. Um, it's two years since Armagh won a uh, championship match and it was against Wicklow. Uh, so, you know, Wicklow will still be hurting from the match down in Auckland two years ago. I would certainly be worried about that match. The only saving grace, in my opinion, is that Leighton uh, Glynn won't be playing. Well, now, you talk about that game. There's another game as well, too, from Anna. Fermanagh were gutted in the championship defeat to Cavan and I think they picked the, the hardest the hardest tie of all, away to Westmead. Away to Westmead, a team that you know had a very good league campaign, went to the final um, and unfortunately you know for, for them they got defeated by a very good Derry team on the day. But um, Westmead have been a form team this year uh, in the overall leagues and you know disappointed against Dublin in the first round of the championship but they'll be out to rectify that mistake and they're coming in against a team that's hurting badly after last weekend's defeat over Cavan in Fermanagh and they, you know a lot, of, a lot was said about Fermanagh's tactics after that game and they'll want to put that right as well and when you've got players with the, the calibre of, of um, Ryan McCluskey, Marty McGrath and these boys you know natural born leaders and, and they'll step up to the plate and I really fancy Fermanagh come through that match. Well there you are now you've tipped uh, Armagh tentatively that's probably nerves because <laughs> yeah. you're an Armagh man you've gone for Fermanagh um, Antrim away to Lowe, do you give Antrim much of a chance to wonder Frank Dawson the way that things are going? No, not really. Um, to be fair, uh, myself and yourself, Adrian, we, we were on the sideline for the Antrim against Monin, my, Antrim and Monin match and you know it wasn't much of a spectacle at all. And um, Although Frank Dawson was pretty happy w w with his teams out and I think he was the only man that, that really uh, was happy throughout the country looking at that match. Um, Antrim, they have been disappointing um, throughout the year and they're missing a lot of key players. The McCann brothers are a huge to that team and you know Louth um, have had a decent enough uh, league campaign they had a massive win over Leash away to Leash in the first round of the championship disappointed against Wexford and, and, and really rallied in the second half and almost got themselves back into the game but I can't see a, a, this result going any other way I think it's going to be a Louth victory uh, the, f the first name out of the hat in the qualifier draw was Tyrone, but yeah. they, they had to give up home advantage because Offaly had played away from home last year yeah. Offaly against Tyrone and Tullamore some people think this is a potential banana skin. Do you see it as a banana skin for Tyrone? It's a banana skin because Tyrone's playing away from home. That's the only um, way I can see Offaly getting the result here. They have um, a top class forward in Al McNamee, but is he going to be the difference in the match? I can't see it. Tyrone are too strong all over the pitch. Yes, they have had a few injury worries over the last couple of weeks, but they'll bounce back in style. You know, they're, they're normally good travelling anyway, so they are. They will win this game quite comfortably in the end, and their experience will certainly tell. The other game I look at too as well, Derry against Sligo. On a personal level, I can't I can't raise a flag for Sligo at all. I think Derry are going to win this with ease. No, um, certainly not. You know, a Sligo team. You know, they got their um, hearts crushed against London, and it's it's going to be very difficult for them boys to come back and try to get a result against the, an informed Derry team. You know, when you look at the first half performance against Down, they really should have built on that performance and, and gone out in the second half and you know put down away and put. Put the, down to the sword, but the, unfortunately, like many Derry teams in the past, they, they seem to let it slip. And um, Down got the momentum going in their favour, and it was very hard to, to claw that back. But Derry will still be hurting. They're still a good top class team. They won Division Two this year, and they're they're a team that's making progress. And I, I fancy Derry to win this match.